That's the magnificent entrance to the city of London Cemetery. So two of the graves that I've um, specifically come here to see are um, the graves of two police officers who were shot and killed um, as a result of a um, period of time that's called the Battle of Stepney. So the siege of Sydney Street in January of 1911 was a gunfight in the east end of London between a combined police and army force and two Latvian revolutionaries. The, si the siege was because of a series of events starting with an attempted jewellery robbery at 119 Houndsditch in the city of London. The attempted robbery was by a gang of Latvian immigrants and resulted in the murder of three police officers. Most of the gang had been arrested with information indicating that the last two members were hiding in a house in Sydney Street in Stepney. Local residents were evacuated and on the morning of the 3rd of January, firefight broke out. Because of inferior weaponry, police sought assistance from the army. The siege lasted six hours and towards the end of that time, a fire broke out in the building. Firefighters found two bodies in the building and whilst the fire, fire was being dampened down, the building collapsed, killing a fireman. The then Home Secretary, Sir Winston Churchill, also attended the scene during the siege. One of the police officers, Robert Bentley, he died on December 16th, 1910, aged 36 years old. So Sergeant Robert Bentley was a City of London police officer. It was the day of his wedding anniversary and his wife was pregnant with their first child. As I've said, the date was December 16th, 1910. The gang tried to rob a jewellery shop at 119 Houndsditch. Although they had planned thoroughly, the noise they made during the robbery caused neighbours to call the police. And number, number 119 apparently backed onto a tenement at 11 Exchange Buildings in Cutler Street. Sergeant Bentley, who was unarmed, responded to the call and was the first into 11 Exchange Buildings where the gang were hiding. He was shot dead. Two other officers were also injured as well as the ones that were killed. Robert had served during the Boer War, so he was a soldier, war hero. He was buried after his service at St Paul's Cathedral and this was the first time St Paul's Cathedral had been used for the funeral of someone with the rank of civil police. Robert's son was born the day after his father was shot and killed. Sadly, Robert Jr. died at age three years old from diphtheria. Charles Tucker, Sergeant Charles Tucker, was born December 1st, 1863, in Sittingbourne in Kent. And he died 16th of December, 1910. He was 46 years old. Charles was a serving police officer for 26 years. And as I said, he had attained the rank of Sergeant. He left home on the day of his death to go on duty and that's the last time his wife ever saw him alive. He was shot by one of the robbers who was trying to escape the building. The man had come to the doorway of 11 exchange buildings and fired into the street, hitting Sergeant Tucker. Charles had two children, a son and a daughter. He was posthumously awarded the King's Police Medal for Gallantry. Rightfully so, as far as I'm concerned. Sacred to the memory of Sergeants Charles Tucker, aged 47, and Robert Bentley, aged 37, interred here, and Walter Charles Choate, aged 34, interred at by fleet members of the City of London Police, killed in the execution of their duty, while endeavouring to apprehend a number of armed burglars in, in exchange buildings in Cutler Street on the 16th of December 1910. In appreciation of their devotion to duty, this monument is erected by the police committee and by the officers and constables, the City of London Police Force, faithful unto death. So also interred here 
or interred. Here is Charles Wesley Tucker, born the 23rd of February 1893, died on the 17th of November 1925. He's son of the late Sergeant Charles Tucker, also interred here, Amelia Tucker, born the 26th of May 1868, died the 27th of September 1931, and she is the widow of the late Sergeant Charles Tucker. Also interred here is Robert Eric Alfred Bentley, born the 21st of December 1910, and he died the 4th of April 1914, and he's the son of the late Sergeant Robert Bentley. He didn't make his fourth birthday, this young lad. Charles Tucker, Sergeant Charles Tucker, is the grave of. Shot on duty. And here lies next to Robert Bentley, also Sergeant, also shot on the same night. And this one hits home for me. It's very poignant that I've come to pay my respects and thank them for their service and their bravery. Many lives changed from that one night.